North Korea sending nuclear Christmas gift to Donald Trump with Boxing Day missile. Huge swaths of the world will today be continuing their Christmas celebrations on Boxing Day, but behind closed doors North Korea will be working on its nuke program. Kim Jong-un will be fuming as a new raft of UN sanctions have been slapped onto his hermit kingdom. U.S. spearheaded punishments designed to restrict oil imports were slapped on North Korea in response to the dictator's test of his most powerful missile yet in November. And now Kim could make good on fears he is readying for a 2017 ending missile test, with a North Korean national holiday falling alongside the festive season in the West. North Korea has previously conducted tests on its own holidays and to mark big dates in the U.S. such as on Independence Day, July 4, this summer. Missiles tests have also previously been described by Kim's state media as gifts to the American. North Korea's calendar will tick over to December 27 later tonight while Britain is still celebrating Boxing Day. Usually the rogue state tests missiles late in the evening GMT, or stretching into the early hours of the morning. And while the West stuffs itself with leftover Turkey, Pyongyang will be marking Constitution Day and the anniversary of the funeral of Kim's dad Kim Jong-il back in 2011. Constitution Day marks the creation of the so-called Judge Constitution enshrining North Korea's core doctrine of isolation and self-reliance by Kim's granddad Kim Illinois Sung. It also marks the posthumous appointment of the elder Kim as the eternal president of the rogue state back in 1998. Experts have previously warned North Korea is expected to carry out at least one more test of its nuclear weapons program before the end of 2017. Kim will now have renewed desire after the crushing sanctions were imposed by the UN. And satellite images taken earlier this month suggest a new test could even be another nuclear bomb, with renewed activity at the test site mountain base Punguri. Many believe the next major step of Kim's missile program is to fire a live nuclear missile known as the droided Judge Bird out into the Pacific. The Center for Strategic and International Studies CIS, previously warned there is an elevated threat level throughout December. However, this prediction was made before Kim's missile launch at the end of November. And previously expert Michael Madden, from NK Leadership Watch, said he believes North Korea will test one more missile before the end of the year. While security expert Robert Manning described the state's missiles as like fireworks on holidays. Christmas likely went mostly unmarked in North Korea as the rogue state is reported to have banned the holiday altogether last year as it wages war on all religious groups. Devotion to the Kims and Judge is preached with borderline religious reverence, and any other faiths are seen as a challenge to the authority of Pyongyang. Christians within North Korea are particularly persecuted, but are believed to gather in secret over the holidays to mark the birth of Jesus. And this year Grinch like Kim is reported to have banned partying, drinking and singing to try to bring an end to any festive feeling in the North. North Korea has proved its nuclear force this year with dozens of missile tests peaking with the detonation of an H-bomb in September. However, questions remain over its re-entry technology and how accurately it can launch a missile at a target. Firing a nuke into the atmosphere is one thing, bringing it back down is another. Kim's proof would have to be a live test of a nuclear missile, similar to that of Ally China back in 1966. Without having huge waste talents to fire his nuke into, Kim would have no choice but to fly the so-called Judge Bird out into the Pacific. A missile test of this kind would be the most provocative move yet, one described by nuclear expert Dr. Bruce Blair as a red line for the U.S. on North Korea. Trump and North Korea have waged a war of words in 2017 as the U.S. attempts to pressure the rogue state to give up its quest for ICBMs. Both military and economic force have been a 